Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I appreciate you coming by. Today's video is going to be about testing out a hack that I saw on YouTube involving the uh, Mr. Heater Little Buddy Heater and one of these little uh, heat powered fans that uh, I have for my hot tent that I put on my hot stove. So I recently discovered that you can actually use this on this little buddy heater and so I'm going to be testing that out in my hot tent. Maybe you'll want to use it in a different area but I'm basically going to see how well it can heat up uh, an area, right? I'm going to be using it for hot tenting, I'll explain that. I'm going to be doing some temperature testing as well. So for me the reason I want to use it in my hot tent is because uh, like normally I'm using a hot stove, uh, a wood stove to heat up my hot tent but at night the thing about that is that these stoves for these hot tents are small and so you end up having to load them every hour every hour and a half you're you're pushing it if it's an hour and a half actually so so you're awake every hour loading up the stove right and you just don't get a good sleep with a mr buddy heater if i can find a way to heat up my whole tent with this these tanks from my experience last about five hours so i would much rather get a five hour sleep in a hot tent if i can rather than being up every hour and then taking time to fall back asleep and everything like that so like i mentioned i saw videos on youtube uh using these heaters with the mr buddy heaters the thing i didn't really see and maybe I just missed it was temperature testing like how hot or warm did it actually get and that's why uh, I'm making this video because I actually want to test it out for my own knowledge and I thought it'd be good to share for you if uh, you're looking to uh, do the same kind of thing so just getting right into things I'm gonna explain the idea of this so the idea is that this normally sits on my hot stove right and so the heat heats the bottom up here it generates electricity and this fan starts to spin. So we're gonna do the same thing but with the buddy heater and I'm gonna show you how to put this on here. Essentially it's gonna be sitting right here. I hope you can see that okay. So you can see on the top of the buddy heater, this piece right here, um, that's where it heats up obviously. And then here on the fan, this is what it looks like on the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide this piece of the fan right under here as far as it can go and even point it down a little bit and so what I want you to notice is that there's no plastic or anything here that's touching here this is all metal the plastic is down here there's no plastic that's going to melt or anything like that so just to give you a wider view this is what it's basically going to look like there you can see that it's actually pretty stable if these ever tip these Mr. Buddy heaters they shut off right away they shut off so easily just make sure that your base is connected well to here and uh, it's like just slightly top heavy but not bad at all you can see it wiggles but once this is set up it's not going to be touched so I just want to show you that this is on barely any heat here right up here it's getting hot and watch when I just tap it here it just shuts off right away did you see that and so I'm definitely not worried about having this running in the tent unsupervised and these are actually good for indoor use as well they uh, have an O2 sensor so when it senses lack of oxygen it'll shut itself off right away as well although I would always just have some ventilation um, just for safety sake you know in here I always have a carbon monoxide detector and there's ventilation it's I mean it's an, a tent outside right it's not holding in any air that tight and so the reason I want to use the fan in the tent is because with the little buddy heater here when you turn it on the heat all goes straight up none of it spreads around at all and I've actually used this uh, last winter in the tent at night and I had to be right next to it to get any kind of heat out of it at all when I was laying down so uh, I'm going to try and fix that so I guess the only thing left to do is to start the testing I've already taken the temperature outside so our temperature outside is about minus three degrees celsius the temperature inside if you can read this is about 1.6 degrees celsius and that's about 37 degrees celsius what we're going to do is measure the temperature from three different points in the tent run the heater for a half an hour and then come back and check it 
And then we're gonna repeat that again for another half an hour and see if it gets even warmer. After that, I'm gonna try something else. I've got a little theory to see if I can get it even warmer in here, uh, but we'll see how that goes. That'll be towards the end of the video. So the cool thing about this is that the fan is actually pointing downwards. And so that's gonna head towards the floor when I have it on the ground and hopefully direct the heat there as well. And then heat will rise and heat the whole tent. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and light this up. And then shortly after, you're gonna see the fan start to spin, heat powered. And that's great because then you don't have to bring power with you. Mine's a little finicky. It's, it's about 10 years old. It's all lit up. Now you're gonna see this start turning right away. And that took about two minutes. So you can see it's going really good now and it's starting to blow the heat for sure. So um, we're gonna set the thermometers, set the timer and uh, be back in half an hour. Okay, so there's a little buddy heater with the fan. Over here on the table there, I have the thermometer that's kind of across the tent and then down at the bottom there you can see I've got another one on the floor. Set timer for 30 minutes. I'll start the timer for 30 minutes. Okay so we're back. I can't see my breath anymore in here so it's definitely warmed up. Um, the heater's over here. I've got a thermometer here and I've got one down on the floor here so we're going to start with the one on the floor. And then we're gonna move it up there, let it acclimatize and check the other one. So we are right around two and a half to three degrees Celsius. So at least we're above freezing. We've raised two to three degrees there, I guess. And uh, we'll check this one here, the one that's kind of the mid level. Can you see that one? 6.3 degrees Celsius. 43.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So we did warm up uh, six degrees there. So that's not bad, that's uh, good after a half an hour. Oh, I forgot, I better move this one back up here. So I've got the thermometer up there and the one on the table has actually been raising now. So we're at seven degrees here, 7.3 degrees Celsius and that is uh, 45 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, after the hour, you know, we're gonna do another half an hour and see how that goes. So one thing to remember is that this is just a tent, right? It's all pretty thin. Oh, I got a little condensation there. It's all pretty thin. If this was a wood structure with wooden walls, um, it would be warmer in here for sure. Um, of course, that's gonna hold the heat in much better. I've used this in my tin shed actually um, in the middle of winter and it got really warm. Uh, with a fan, I had an electric fan going, but it was nice and toasty. Okay, so I gave the one up here a little chance to uh, acclimatize and it looks like we're sitting just around nine and a half to 10 degrees Celsius. So yeah, naturally heat rises. It's expected for it to be warmer up there. Okay, so we're gonna try for another half an hour. I'm gonna put this one back on the floor, only I'm gonna have it on a little hook down here. I just wanna make sure I get a good temperature without uh, anything being influenced by touching the floor because the floor might be a little colder itself. Another thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna adjust the placement of the fan. It's very close to the wall and the wall is colder. So I'm just gonna bring it in a little bit just so it's not quite so close to the wall. Okay, so everything is reset. Set timer for 30 minutes. I'll start your timer for 30 minutes. There we go, I'll see you back in a half an hour. So I'm back. I haven't looked at the thermometers yet. Um, it feels a little bit warmer in here. I'd say maybe at least at this level, a degree or two. Um, but I don't know, let's have a look. So we'll start with the bottom one again, so then I can put it back up there. So we're about um, one and a half, two degrees. So no change there really. Let's see what this is. So we're actually 6.5 degrees. So it went down a degree. So that's 44 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know, kind of seems weird. Better put this up here. I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, I was hoping it would go up a little more. So we've had a total rise of about, well, 6.5 to 7 degrees Celsius 
at this kind of level here. Not much at the bottom, like a degree or two at the bottom. And uh, we'll see at the top right away. That's still rising, I can see. But um, yeah, I was kind of hoping it would be um, a little better than that. I am gonna do another half an hour and I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I have no idea if it's gonna work, but we'll see. One thing I can say though, is if I'm winter camping in the hot tent, is uh, I'll either have a lot of sleeping bags like I did last year, or I'm planning on getting a minus 20 degree Celsius sleeping bag. Um, so anything above zero is really good. And minus 20 degrees Celsius, that's a comfort level. So, I mean, you're, you're warm in that at minus 20 degrees. But um, just trying to see like how it would be. I would love to be able to keep it above zero in here just to keep the chill off of everything. I don't know, what do you think about it all? Uh, like I've given you some of the information here. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you have any hints maybe with the uh, little buddy heater and heating up a tent? Have you ever done it before? I'd love to hear about it. Okay, so my thermometer has been up here for uh, close to 10 minutes. And it looks like we haven't really seen much of a change between nine and 10 degrees Celsius. So not much change at all in the last half an hour which I was expecting some change, but uh, not really. I'm not sure. I was hoping it would be a little better than that. Again, it is above, um, we had a seven degree change here from when we started from zero. I do have to check the temperature outside though before the video is over because I don't know how much the temperature has dropped in the last hour that we've been doing this. So, so I'm reading about minus four, so there hasn't been too much change. I have one more thing to try and I don't know if it's really gonna make any kind of difference or not, but I wanna try it anyways, and I'll tell you what that is right away. I'm gonna try raising this system up onto this table here. It's about a, a foot and a half up off the ground. Anyways, up here, the air is warmer. So what I'm hoping is that this heater is going to add air to the already warm air, and maybe that will have some sort of compound effect and it'll get warmer. I don't know, just a theory, but uh, we'll see. I'm gonna give that another half an hour and come back and let you know how it is. For the thermometers on this one, I've got one up top again like I did before, and then since I don't have the table, I'm putting this one right here. I'll just lower it down to about the height of the table there, and uh, we'll see how that is in half an hour. Half an hour later, and I can tell you right away, this idea didn't work. <laughs> um, up here, it might be a little warmer. I haven't looked at anything yet. Down here, I can definitely feel the cold. So let's check this out. This one was about table level here, three degrees Celsius. So that's 38 degrees. So we actually lost like four, five, four or five degrees, something like that. We lost there. So I'll check the top one here is at 16 degrees Celsius. So we definitely uh, raised some up there and I mean that makes sense because we're closer this way, right? So um, yeah, that didn't work. I was hoping that maybe because this was facing down a little bit, it would force some of the air, but the fan I guess isn't that strong. I've given you the information. You can kind of judge for yourself what you think. Let me know in the comments. I mean, for me, uh, if, if, it's, if it's this cold and it's above zero, I'm pretty happy with that. Not bad. If I'm sleeping in a hot tent, I have at the very least a sleeping pad. Mine is uh, R rated for four or five degrees, plus um, all of the blankets and, and whatever, right? So if it's above zero, I'm feeling good about it. Um, let me know how you feel. That's about what I have for you. It was a good experiment. Can it heat your tent? It can, it doesn't get that warm. So, I mean, don't expect plus 20 degrees or anything like that, but uh, you know, it will take the chill off. It's also not minus 20 outside. Although I don't know if I'd be camping in minus 20, maybe I would be, but uh, it's not even minus 10 outside. It'll take the chill off, especially if you had this on the ground and it was right on you, that wouldn't be too bad at all all so um yeah that's what i got for you hope you enjoyed the video hope you got something out of it remember the most important thing folks take care of yourself and i'll see you in the next one